be making a ceramic couch slash jewelry holder out of air dry clay. Sounds kind of weird, but trust me, there was a vision. It was so fun to make. There is something that's so fun about working with clay and just your hands, just kind of, even though it sounds so cheesy, it just kind of feels like it's just you and the clay and that's all there is. And using air dry clay is such a good way to do pottery without the price of going to a pottery studio. So like I said, I will be making a jewelry holder but in the shape of a couch. <laughs> I, I got the idea, I think probably on TikTok, and just couldn't get it out of my head. I would love it if you wanted to grab some air dry clay and follow along with me, or just do any craft for that matter while I make the couch. And without further ado, let's make a ceramic couch slash jewelry holder. Okay, so we are getting started with air dry clay. I got my air dry clay from Target, but you can really get it at any craft store or even on Amazon. It's so nice. And I just got the Crayola air dry clay. There's lots of different kinds. There's also oven bake clay, polymer clay. There's so many different options, but I just chose the air dry clay, which I really like because you can kind of use it like you would regular clay at a pottery studio. You know, you can use it with water if it's too dry and it's just super easy to work with. And you can see those tools. I just got them in a pack on Amazon. So they're super, super helpful. I kind of made those like scratch marks on these pieces. And that's because whenever you're attaching two pieces of clay together, you always want to add some nooks and crannies and spaces so that it helps it stick better. And then you'll see these little wormy things that I'm making. You want to put those in the corners of the clay that you're attaching and kind of smooth it out like you can see here and that'll make pieces of clay that you stuck together. It'll make them really stay and not separate and basically you're turning two pieces of clay into one. So highly recommend doing it that way. Now you can just see me making the couch a little bit more. It was so fun. I know I mentioned it before, but there is something so special about literally starting with a blob of clay and then making it whatever you want it to be. It's just, it's so fun. It's so cool being able to see like what your hands can do, what your hands can make. What I love about crafting is that it's such a good form of self-care and you can kind of sneakily just watch your show, like multitask while doing it. I'm actually going to be starting a new series on my blog that I'll call Craft 101 or something like that, where I'll basically run through everything you need to know about different kinds of crafts. So you can definitely expect one up on the blog all about air dry clay and another blog post just all about this couch that I made. So definitely look out for those. So then now I'm just wetting the entire couch with a wet sponge just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. But I didn't really mind that the couch was kind of lumpy because, you know, couches are lumpy in real life, so it doesn't need to be perfect. And then here you can see I'm shaving the couch. So I let the couch dry for about two days until it got leathery. That's in the, in the clay community at Pottery Studios. They call this like the leathery phase of the clay where it's almost half dry or three quarters of the way dry. And it just makes it super easy to shave off the clay and also just kind of shape the piece a bit more. So I waited a day or two and shaved off pieces to make it a bit more smooth. And then here you can see it's almost dry. And then now, oh my gosh. So I had such a hard time mixing my colors together and figuring out the right colors. So you can see here in the picture on my phone, that was my inspiration. I wanted a very pale yellow. I think I got the yellow. I had a really hard time getting that mustard yellow brown color, but regardless, I was looking through a bunch of different patterns of like what I should paint the couch. And I 
ended up choosing this one, the yellow and brown stripes. It's cute. I mean, I think I'll probably repaint this thing in another year or in a few months or so, but you know, it's fine. I'll post my inspo pic and I'll post some pictures of other pattern ideas that I have for this couch, but it still is cute. Let me just say that mixing these colors, especially this brown color you're seeing me mix right now, it was so hard trying to find the color I wanted. I, don't, I didn't even end up getting the color I wanted. I have a whole new respect for people who are super into color theory and mixing colors and all of that because I really was humbled during this experience and realized that I am nowhere I'm just not very good at color theory and it's definitely something I'm gonna try to work on. But now I'm just painting the stripes on the couch. I didn't really care about being super, super even or anything. I mean, a real lived in couch kind of has flaws like that. I used glossy Mod Podge to make it all shiny and to seal everything in. I definitely liked using the Mod Podge and would recommend it, but I, I just have a feeling that there's better mediums out there to seal the paint in and to make the couch glossy. So I'm gonna be looking into that. Here is the finished piece. It turned out adorable and looks extra cute with the jewelry in it. And it's just nice to have a functional little handmade with love piece in my home. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching me make a ceramic couch that's also a secret jewelry holder. It's just about having fun, relaxing, unwinding, just finding new ways to practice self-care. So here is the little couch I made. You know, the colors didn't necessarily turn out how I wanted them to, but it's still super cute. It's so nice that I can just lift the cushions out. It's holding some of my jewelry. It's so nice, functional, and I mean, it doesn't have to be a jewelry holder. You could put chapsticks in here, you could put hair ties, nail polish, absolutely anything. It's so fun. Just imagine this on a bookshelf, sitting on top of some books with a plant next to it and a little lamp. It's just so cute. What I love about this is that for now, I can leave it like this and then Let's say in a few months from now, in a year from now, if I get sick of this design, I can just paint right on top of it and have a whole new design on the couch. I just, I love using air dry clay. It's so nice not having to go into a pottery studio and wait so long to use a kiln. It's just, it's right at your fingertips. I'll put this bad boy down. <laughs> but I hope you liked this video. I hope that it was really fun and relaxing. To watch. If you liked the video, please subscribe and let me know what other kinds of crafts you want to see me do or what other kind of videos you want to see me make. I would love, love some input on that. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I hope you do something crafty today or tomorrow or the next day or all of the days. <laughs> Alrighty everybody, bye bye.